Hey guys, this is Lewis back with the second video of Revit Architectural Essential Training. In this movie, we're going to look at view navigation. View navigation is a critical part of any graphic software program and Revit is certainly no exception. So I'm going to show you ways you can zoom the screen to change the magnification, pan to slide around or scroll the screen and to orbit when we are looking at the 3D view. So I'm going to change my view to 3D view. You can do that by just clicking on this home icon and which will change the view to 3D view. Now the first command we're going to look at is the zoom command. And the simple way to do that is by using wheel on your mouse. If your mouse does not have a wheel, I will highly recommend you to get one because it will pay for itself in a few minutes of its use. So the very simple way to zoom into your project, simply roll the wheel down to zoom out and roll the wheel up to zoom in. First I'll change my wall to shaded. If you keep your cursor on the left of the side and roll your wheel up it will zoom into that. So wherever your cursor is that will become a center of the zooming. So if I take my cursor to this corner and roll my wheel up I will zoom into this corner. So this is the easiest way to zoom in and out. Alright so now to pan the screen simply you press your wheel and just drag it and just move around it's that simple there's another way to pan around into your drawing is by using this scroll bar but to be honest i will never use them i never have since i had my mouse with the wheel i've never used them but you can use them by sliding them up and down but i would not recommend that okay so let's have a look how we can orbit our view well just hold down your mouse wheel and hold down your shift key and as you can see that your cursor changes to pan to orbit view and then just drag and you can just change your view in a three-dimensional way well it's only works in a 3d view because right now i'm in a 3d view that's why i'm able to do that if i go to my level one plan view and i use my shift key and hold down my wheel it will not work it will still just pan around so i'll go back to my 3d view by expanding this and then double clicking on 3d and which which will take me back to my 3d view so by far the easiest way to pan around to zoom in and out and orbit is by using your mouse wheel but there are other ways to do that as well so we're gonna look at those ways so i'm gonna go back to my 2d view by double clicking on level one and i'm gonna show you some option to zoom in so on the top right here we have this toolbar which is called a navigation toolbar we have two things here we got this mouse we got this 2d wheel and we have this zoom in region so if you click on this arrow button you got several ways to zoom in zoom out and all that stuff so by default a zoom in region is set as a default so but you have a few different options here so we're gonna look at them all right so now to select that zoom in region you can't just click on it you have to click on this zoom in region icon so if I hover over my cursor to it as you can see that we talked about the shortcut commands before so in region got the shortcut command Z R so I can click here but I'm gonna use my shortcut command by typing Z R and I've got this magnifying glass so to use that what I do is I'll just drag that and I just make a window of it and I'll just leave my mouse and I will get the zoom into that specific area alright so let's click on this arrow button and now let's have a look at the zoom in region we just looked at the zoom in region command and now let's have a look at the zoom out 2x so if I click on it one thing I want to mention here that the default command is zoom all to fit right now but if I click on it it would not work because that command is set to default to get that command on i have to click on this icon to make it work so what i do now i'm going to click on this zoom out to works this command will execute because it's not set to default if i click on it as you can see that that command executed and that icon changed to zoom out to x so now i'll click on here and i will click on zoom all to fit it will execute that command if you want to apply a default command you need to click on this icon otherwise that command which is not set to default will be executed without even clicking on that icon all right so now let's have a look at this wheel so on this wheel i can just drag it out and wherever i take my cursor 
it will follow my cursor if I click on the zoom this will zoom in as you can see that I click on that and I hold my button down of the mouse and I drag and which will zoom in and zoom out I'll leave my button from the mouse and I can rewind as you can see that see the previous views whatever the we had this will rewind that to the previous view let's say you were on this view but you want to go back to this view you can just rewind that pan click here and then you can just pan around there's another thing I want to mention here is this box here so if you want to see any any um, view to the right you can click here so it will change that to right click on this arrow button it will take you to the top alright guys thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video be sure to like share and subscribe to my channel